Okay, guys, what is up? Today, I am going to be talking to you guys about some survival history. And, yeah. So. Hopefully, you guys don't hear anything, but, yeah. Um, Silver, if you watch this video, I'm sorry. I, was, I could not record. Alright, I can't keep you here now. I'm doing Okay, so now we're going to start with, this is what I'm going to call, this is what I call the public void base. And, right, let me see if I can write it, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so I'm throwing it now. Alright, but as you can see, this bedrock is completely broken. This is real bedrock, it's not an equal. I can't break it. It is real bedrock. And, it is been the entire chunk has been completely broken, and as you can see, because it's been broken, it has made for a perfect void base, as you can see, where people have made this cool base, right? Someone made this cool base, and they have all this, right? And then when you come over here, got all of this goofy stuff, tree farm stuff. This was the only start of the board base. I found this a while ago when I found Dream XD from the server called NETD. But then, now we got got into more stuff. So, after he TPD, I saw this and I was like, what if there's more board bases? So I put on x ray and I found some more bases. Another board base right here on a red up, as you can see. And I found two different. One is if you go this way, which is this is the way I bridge. I found Phobio Vault Space. I think that's his name. Phobio Vault Space. And he isn't an enemy of mine, but he's someone I know. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. He's protected. So. But I found the base using x right? And he has an entry. And this entrance, I was able to use to get into his base from the top when I found it was. And as you can see, just your normal sky base that he has for his faction, probably. Maybe not just, maybe just for himself. But yeah. So just like a normal sky base, right? Or void base. But this is the thing I've found. I've found this. It's just a void base when people were able to get on the phone. But when coming up this way, I have found that the bedrock is still open. It's not a bedrock, the normal bedrock openings, where it is perfectly open. And Arthur has patched it. It's still here. Like, the bedrock is broken right here. Phobio Vault. Wait, what's his name? Phobio all heal T. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. But he broke the bedrock. And do you see this two blocks? That reminds me. The obsidian blocks.io obs water and TNT bedrock breaking up. It's only two. So this is like a 10 month old open bedrock space that hasn't been oh, that hasn't been broken or patched by Arthur. And that's pretty cool. And yeah. But then we come this way. I'm gonna drink a speed pot probably. So probably vault space is this way. But when we go which way was it? When you go this way, you come across another base. This base does not have any entrance. But it's a very interesting base. It's it's next to spawn. And it's not that big. But it's a base, right? And all bases have history and so on. And this base was built in right here, and as you can see, they haven't gone down, so they don't know the glitch where you can jump off and place blocks, right? 
Because the pe these people must have not been like super. Oh my god. Okay. We need to make it. Don't fall. Okay. And it's just a normal base. You got snow. Sign. Terracotta. Just like a normal base. There's nothing in it. And then when you come up here, let's make an ice up here first and then my bedrock stuff. And no, there is no bedrock entrance. Which means this one was patched somehow. Which is a very interesting. So now that we've covered this, I'm gonna talk into a little bit of the history of exploding. In block style, there's been a couple of block style exports to get underground. One is breaking bedrock, which is where you make a thing out of compressed messy stone so it doesn't break by TNT. You make a little box, you put TNT in, and you cover it with water, and it breaks the bedrock. That one was patched, because everyone started making videos about it, and it got patched by people. But then there's a second one, that A-W-E-R, A word. This one was a little bit different. This one, they did they did pearls. They didn't break the bedrock. If you threw a pearl up while using the set home trick to go inside the block, you would fall down. And doing it multiple times led you under bedrock. That is why some of these bases don't have entrances, or they were patched by light. Which is pretty cool. Now, recently, I've been looking into finding a new way to find it. But I have not found a new way, and I'm trying to do it so that we can maybe find add more history to this. Block style survival. And there's more block style ones in Survival 1 and all these other places. And that is why we need to make sure that we don't keep, if we find a patch, if we find an exploited thing, we should try and not get it. Or this is why we shouldn't. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry, guys. But yeah. So these bases are very old and could have been here for a long time. And I think if you find a void base, DM me on Discord or get tell me on Survival 13 or any one, and I can help make a video about it, documenting these bases. Now, and don't like if you find one that's unprotected, you can go look at this chest. Take the chest. For all means, take the chest. Get some extra. Loot. But don't. Whatever you do, don't ruin it. Don't like freaking grief it. Because this is just history, and if we remove all history, this will be a new survival. But the fun thing about survival is the history. So, if you find a base, DM me a void base, or any base you want to document that seems old and has rare stuff in it. Just tell me, and I can maybe make a video about it, slash edit, to add it to my Discord team, which I have a private Discord team. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this just informed you on how it is, uh, how this stuff is going on. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I have to figure out how to turn this off real quick.